So if you guys want cheap, huge plate lunches in Hawaii, you guys gotta come over here. All right, everybody, so you wouldn't believe how hard it is to find something to eat on a Monday in Hawaii. So after driving around for an hour and looking all over Yelp, I finally decided to go to Liliha Drive-In. And Liliha Drive-In is located on the corner of Liliha and Vineyard. And the parking is actually right behind the building. So we're gonna go inside right now and get our food. I had a takeout order. Okay, so I'm paying for my food right now and Liliha Drive-In is actually known for giving really, really huge portions. So you guys will see when, when we get back to the car. Okay, so we got our food and this is really heavy. Like, I, I kid you not, I would say this is like maybe 10 pounds. This is a lot of food in here. I can actually go and get my arm workout if I just go and Keep it out like that. <laughs> okay, let's go in the car. All right, okay. So let me go and show you guys the food. Okay, so first up, we have the mini barbecue chicken right here. So we have your traditional barbecue chicken. You got the rice and you got the mac salad. And you know, for most people, this would fill them up for lunch. Okay, next up, we got the garlic ahi. Look at those pieces of garlic in there. Nice big piece of ahi. Comes with some tartar sauce. And you got two scoops of rice. And of course, the mac salad. And lastly, what everyone loves in Hawaii, chicken katsu. So we have a whole lot of chicken katsu right here. We got two scoops of rice and mac salad right there. Oh man, I gotta go back inside. They totally forgot to put my chicken katsu sauce in there. Okay, so you need to have the chicken katsu sauce. You know, I'll tell you guys this. It's one of my biggest pet peeves when, um, when I get my chicken katsu or you know anything that comes with sauce that's supposed to come with sauce and they forget to give me the sauce. But luckily I'm doing this review in the parking lot, so I just walked back in. All right, so we are gonna go and start off with the garlic ahi. All right, so here's the ahi. There's actually a good amount of garlic here, as you guys can see. Big pieces of garlic. So I'm gonna go and try it without, oh, this actually looks like it's, um. Ahi belly. Okay, so I'm gonna try it without the tartar sauce first. Mmm, very flavorful. You can tell that they put a good amount of um, garlic salt in here. So normally, when you get garlic ahi, it's just like a filet of the ahi, right? So in this particular one, they actually use ahi belly for it. I actually like it more with the tartar sauce. So you can taste a lot of the, the garlic salt but let's go and try it with some of the garlic. Okay, I got a lot of garlic here. Mm. They cook the garlic just right, so you have that nice garlic flavor, but it doesn't have a lot of that bite where like, you know, when you don't cook the garlic long enough. The mac salad is pretty good too. I wouldn't say it's the best mac, mac salad, but it is good mac salad. When I get mac salad and it's too watery, it kind of grosses me out a little bit. So the mac salad here has the right amount of mayo to it and it's not watery at all. I think next time I would ask them to go and put more garlic in here. Okay, so next up we have the barbecue chicken and this is a mini plate. I'll show you guys the size difference between the regular and the mini. So here's the size difference. So this is the regular chicken katsu and this is the regular barbecue chicken. So as you guys can see, and they're both very, very heavy. So if you guys are looking for cheap eats, or you guys are on a budget, 
I highly recommend you guys check out Liliha Drive-In. You can think of Liliha Drive-In as like, it's kind of like a elevated uh, L&L basically. And they have way thicker pieces of chicken and they actually, um, I think maybe are a little bit cheaper than L&L &L too. Okay, so let's take a bite out of this barbecue chicken. So what can I say? Barbecue chicken is barbecue chicken at any of these Hawaiian barbecue places you guys go to. But what I do like more about the barbecue chicken at Liliha Drive-In is that the pieces are thicker and it's not like they went and they smashed it down into like really thin pieces. Lastly, we got the chicken katsu right here, which is what everyone is waiting for. So I've been coming to Liliha Drive-In for like maybe the last two months or so. And the chicken katsu is actually really on point. I wouldn't say it's the best chicken katsu, but for the kind of fast food that it is, fast food plate lunch, this is good. And again, they don't go and smash it down into paper thin pieces. So you got pretty thick cuts of chicken for this chicken katsu. Right here, you guys see how thick the chicken katsu is compared to other places. Okay, let's dip it in the sauce, the katsu sauce. Mmm, very good. That's a hella good piece of chicken. So the katsu sauce is, as you guys can see, a little bit more on the watery side. And there's a slight kick of heat to it at the very end. And it's also more on the sweet side as well. Can you guys do me a favor? In the comments down below, let me know where you think is the best chicken katsu in Hawaii. They didn't overcook it either, so it's a nice golden brown. And the chicken is still very, very moist on the inside. You know what really makes the chicken katsu, I think, aside from the sauce, is that it's nice and plump and juicy and crispy on the outside. I think that's what really makes chicken katsu for me. I wouldn't say this is like the best chicken katsu that I've ever had, but it's definitely way better than a lot of other places. So if you guys are looking for some cheap eats that, and they give a lot of food, Liliha Drive-In is your place to go if you haven't tried them out. All right, everybody, so that was a really quick plate lunch review. So if you're looking for really big plate lunches that are cheap, definitely go and check them out. They have ample parking right in the back of the building. And um, I gotta say the chicken katsu was good. Barbecue chicken, it's kind of like barbecue chicken that you would find at other places. And I actually liked how they used the ahi belly for the garlic ahi plate. But one thing I like to say is that I did try their um, garlic, garlic shrimp plate and the cold ginger chicken before. And I feel that's kind of like a hit and miss for, for that. So if you just stick to like the real staple items, I think you'd be good. Do me a big favor, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos just like this. If you haven't started following me on Instagram yet, do me a big favor and follow me there. I'm gonna go and leave all of the information in the description box down below. And I wanna give a really, really big thank you to all the people that donated and supported my channel on buy me a coffee so if you would like to go and help me continue making videos on food in hawaii check out the buy me a coffee link that i have in the description box down below as well but to everybody that did donate thank you so much i really really appreciate it it helps the channel out tremendously and i'll see all of you next week bye